Hi guys and welcome to my first video on YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your website crawled and indexed on Google so that it appears when you search for it on the Google search engine. To do this you'll need to go to google.com, go to the search bar and type the following site colon and your domain name. So my domain name is websplaining.com and you'll want to put this in without the www dot. Click search and as you can see for this web domain we get no search results. Now in fact Google recommends you to try the Google search console which will allow you to get your website indexed. Click the link and now you're in the Google search console. Now mind you if you don't actually have a Google account you'll need to create one prior to logging in to see this page. To do this I'll include a link in the description which will show you a video of mine of how to create a Google account. Getting back to the guide, in the Google search console we'll need to select a property type. Today we're dealing with domains so you'll want to choose the left hand side, the domain section and type in your domain name. Click continue. Google will give you a set of instructions to verify the domain ownership via DNS record. Now there are various instructions provided for all the various different types of hosts. I use Namecheap.com which is what this guide will feature. As you can see here's the text record that we'll need to copy. Copy this. As you can see it's been copied to the clipboard and go log in to your web host domain. And as you can see, I've already logged into Namecheap.com and on the left hand side, I've clicked the domain list and chosen my domain name. Click manage. And scroll down to where it says name service. And as you can see, the current DNS points to my website's host, where I'm hosting the files on my website. For Namecheap, you'll need to select a Namecheap basic DNS. Now this may cause your website to have some downtime, depending on the size of your web page. Click the check to complete your change. Scroll back to the top and go to Advanced DNS. Click it. Scroll down to where it says host records. Here you'll add a new record and you'll select txt record. In the host area you'll type the symbol at and you'll paste in Google's txt record that it has given you into the value area. So control V keep the TTL automatic and click the check mark to save your changes. Go back to the Google search console and get ready to press verify. You may or may not get an error depending on how long it takes for your DNS to reflect the changes. Now for me it usually takes around 10 to 30 minutes but it can take 24 hours Again, it depends on your DNS host. So I'll come back when we're ready to click verify. Okay, I've given it about 30 minutes and now I think we're ready to click verify. Let's see if we get an error or not. So I've hit verify and as you can see, the ownership has been verified. Again, this could be instantaneous, however I decided to personally wait 30 minutes from experience and you may get an error and may need to wait longer. But just try again after the, you have awaited the unnecessary amount of time provided to you by your host. So our domain name has been verified. So what you want to do is you want to click go to property and welcome to your new Google Search Console web page. So you get a nice welcome here. You want to click Start and you just want to click Got It. 
and X out here. So this is an overview now with your websplaining.com. Your domain name will be placed here. Go down to the URL inspection area. And at the top here, you want to type in your domain name. So my domain name is websplaining.com and you want to press enter. Again, you'll be greeted with a new welcome um, page. You'll just want to click start. And got it once again. So as you can see now, we have the ability to request Google to index for us. So you want to click request indexing. So let Google do its thing. And as you can see, we get an error indexing requests rejected. During live testing, indexing issues were detected with the URL. So you want to view live test. And Google lets you know that the URL will be indexed only if certain conditions are met. And the current availability URL is unknown to Google. Now, we have done everything we can possibly do. We have submitted our site to the URL inspection area. So now we just have to patiently wait for Google to index our web page. While we wait, we can go and put back our custom name service. So what you want to do is go back to your domain host. Mine is Namecheap. Scroll up to the top and click Domain. Here you want to scroll down to the name servers area and you'll want to change Namecheap basic DNS to custom and you'll want to fill in your name servers. I have my name servers in a notepad which I saved from earlier and you'll want to paste these in. There's usually four. And once that's done, you'll want to click the check mark icon to initiate the change. Okay, and now go back to the Google Search Console. And there's one more thing you can implement to get your website indexed a lot quicker. Scroll down to the indexing section and click sitemaps. Now, Submitting a sitemap will only work if you actually already have uploaded a sitemap onto your website. I'll leave a link in the description of how to create a sitemap and upload it to your website below. Now, I have already uploaded a sitemap onto my website, so all you need to do is type in the URL of your website and the sitemap's location. So you can start by typing HTTPS colon two slashes www.websplaining.com slash and another slash and I'll explain in a moment why you'll need another slash your XML file location so sitemap.xml is the name of my file and then you're going to click submit Okay, so the sitemap has been submitted successfully according to Google. Click got it. Now, the reason why you'll need to include a double slash in the sitemap's URL is because there's a small bug in Google where it doesn't pick your sitemap up and you'll always get a fail. So make sure you include the double slash before the sitemap.xml name. Okay guys, so we've told Google to crawl our website, we've submitted our sitemap, and we've changed our DNS custom records back to what they were before. So we'll need to give Google a couple of hours to crawl and index our website. Hi guys, so I'm back now. It's been about three hours since we last uh, submitted our sitemap. And I think we're ready to check if our website has been indexed or not on Google. So what we'll want to do is Click the home button here and type in site colon website's domain name again 
and press enter. And as you can see now, our website has indeed been crawled and indexed on Google and is appearing on Google search results. So just to show you that, I'll click my website. And there you have it. There's my website. Okay, guys, that completes the guide. I hope you enjoyed it. And if it was any help to you, please leave a comment, give me a like and subscribe. I am the new kid on the block. So every little like and subscription is a big help.